What is your staple meal of choice? Yeah, my staple meal just depends where I'm at. You know, we're here in New York right now for the Woodstock Fruit Fest. I originally grew up in Cancun, Mexico, and now I'm in Hawaii, in Maui mostly. And so really it's just depending on what's in season. Uh, for me, I just love, uh, as a bulk quantity food, I love fruits like papaya. And lately here, I've been actually eating a lot of longans, which is a tropical fruit, so they've been brought here. But this is the season of stone fruit here in the mainland, and I just love peaches. So that's something I was eating a lot in California before coming here. So really just varies so much. I, I'm not sticking to one food specifically as my main source of fuel. I'm a big juicer, so apple, carrot, ginger. One of my favorites. That's that's it right there. Apple, carrot, ginger. Um, garbanzo beans in any fashion or form, just like out uh, organic canned garbanzo beans. Wonderful. Dehydrated garbanzo beans that are like chips and you can get like, there's this habanero garbanzo beans. I know mm -hmm. I mentioned it to you. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, that and then my other green juice, which is a, pretty much a staple, which is kale, apple, uh, and sometimes ginger. Yeah, that's actually it. Kale and apple. There you go. I'll probably have to say it is a vegan cottage pie, um, which consists of loads of vegetables, so carrots, uh, leafy greens, mushrooms, um, in a vegetable stock, in a vegan vegetable stock, uh, then topped with some sweet potato mash, and then uh, topped with like, some coriander and baked in the oven. I would say whatever is in season and most available and abundant would be my staple meal. Uh, currently, I live on the big island of Hawaii. Fresh local organic mangoes and papaya, maybe a little, and the fresh cane juice as the liquid base. Uh, my my vegan favorite meal was, um, I think, rice and beans. <laughs> and uh, my favorite raw vegan meal is um, cashew um, cheese nut. Probably have to be a mono meal of bananas. I wouldn't say that's my favorite fruit, um, although I love banana smoothies and I, I, when I'm hungry I can devour 10 to 15 bananas in a sitting, sometimes coupled with greens. but. It's the most consistently available food I have. It's the most affordable food I have. It's calorie dense when you're active. So I would say bananas are a staple for me. Uh, a huge smoothie. Um, I love smoothies. They're so easy to digest and they taste amazing. And you can make any kind of smoothie you want. I don't like to really have a staple meal of choice. I like to eat with the seasons. I like to always change up my diet based on what's on sale at the store, you know, that's organic, and also what's in season and going off in my garden. So between those two things, you know, I always eat something and the majority of the time it's either fresh fruits, you know, fresh vegetables, a salad, a soup, a juice, or a smoothie. And I can't really say I have one staple. One food that I really like a lot, probably above all others, if I had to pick one food, it's coconuts. Coconuts are amazing. You could use the young jelly meat. It's a nice uh, fat source. I love to drink the coconut water, which is rich in electrolytes. I also like the mature meat that I could actually blend with the water and then make a rich coconut milk to like use as a cream base for like soups or salad dressings. All my favorite vegetables put into a bowl on top of a bed of rice and potatoes. I eat this about six, I would say more than six days of the week. So I would go 6.5 days of the week, you know, because sometimes I'll have burritos or something like that mixed up. I'd have my staple every day. It's, uh, it's broccoli, carrots, celery, bell peppers, spinach, kale. If I got some bok choy, I'll throw it in there. Some uh, Swiss chard, I'll put some beets in there. Just all my favorite vegetables are my staple because I try and mix up my variety every day and I try and get a wide range of vegetables in me. Well, right now I'm eating some grapes, so that would be my staple meal of choice right now. I think if we actually start eating local food or eating with the seasons, our staple foods should change. Like even if there's a food that you really love and it kind of goes out of season, there's probably time of the year where you should probably be eating something else because it's more sustainable, it's more, it's more local, it's more environmentally friendly. My staple meal of choice is always fluctuating. So over this three years that I've been vegan, there was definitely a period of time in the beginning when it was quinoa was my staple. And then when I got into raw foods, absolutely without a doubt, bananas and dates were my staple. I live in Colorado, it's a cold climate, and you can get organic varieties of those foods year round and pretty good quality. Um, currently, 
you know, it's the summertime. Like right now, my staple is watermelon. Like when I'm when I'm home or even at this festival, I try to pack in as much watermelon as I can. One, because it's actually high in protein um, as far as fruits go, and it's just so hydrating. You don't even need to drink water throughout the day if you're eating enough watermelon. Um, so again, it's always changing. But I think for most people who are getting into this lifestyle, you should pick a staple that you really like and has some caloric umph to it, such as rice or sweet potatoes or bananas if you're interested in raw foods. If you're living in Hawaii and there's an abundance of papayas, make papayas your staple. It would be something like bananas and melons, watermelons specifically. I make a huge smoothie every day with like 10 to 12 bananas and a lot of spinach. Maybe some sprouts or something like that. It depends on the season, it changes a lot. I live free during the day, so in the winter it will be clementines almost every day. And in the summer, watermelon every morning, for sure. At night, maybe oatmeal, potatoes, sweet potatoes, yeah, corn. I like a vegetable salad. I just cut up every vegetable I like and put it in a very big bowl. And I make my own dressing, usually using um, tomatoes, oregano, um, salt and pepper, and jalapeno, and some lemon juice. And I blend that up and just put it over top. During the spring and summer, anyway, when it's available, would be a tofu mangoes. I try not to overeat very often, and I don't overeat on very many foods, but that one I almost always do. <laughs> a salad. But it's not just any salad. It's the best salad on the planet. I'll take two heads of red leaf lettuce. I will chop them up into really small pieces, because I hate salads with giant pieces, because they get all over your face. You're trying to stick it in your mouth, and there's this giant leaf covered in dressing, and it's up in your eye and in your nose, and, and your just, face is covered in lettuce and dressing. So chop it real small. And then I take a carrot or two and I grate them. Shredded carrots, I take beets, I grate them. I take radishes, I grate them. I take broccoli and I grate the tops off, the little flowers, I don't eat the stems. So I just grate all the flowers off the top of the broccoli and they're like little hemp seeds in there. Um, sometimes I'll grate some zucchini or some cucumber, chop up some red pepper really small, <laughs> throw in some avocado, but I chop it up into really tiny pieces. Put on some nutritional yeast, some coconut aminos, uh, maybe a little sprinkle of lemon juice or apple cider vinegar, something like that, and I mix it. For about two to three minutes, I just mix it until it gets marinated so that the dressing is saturating every piece in there. And because I've chopped up everything so small, the flavor is consistent in every bite. But when you put big chunks of broccoli or big chunks of carrot or big chunks of radish or big chunks of lettuce, you're like chewing on a giant broccoli chunk. And most people, they put dressing on the top and then they eat off the top layer with the dressing and now there's no dressing left. So now they put more dressing on and they eat off that layer with the dressing. And now you gotta put more dressing on. So they end up consuming massive amounts of dressing, which is usually really, really fatty. So by getting it marinated and really mixing it, that little bit of avocado, that apple cider vinegar or lemon juice, the coconut aminos or nutritional yeast, it's all spread evenly and soaked up and everything's nice and tender. Heaven, best salad ever. Staple for breakfast is always, I think forever is gonna be bananas. I have about 10 bananas every morning in a smoothie, feel fantastic. Um, another one of my big staples would be uh, mixed veggies with my sauce and uh, potatoes or rice is the base with uh, some beans and uh, as much local vegetables as I can get so I get lots of calories and the carbs from the potatoes and rice and veggies with the bananas and they're probably my two big staple meals of the day. Probably banana smoothies. I drink a lot of banana smoothies. Uh, it's a quick thing to do, easy to take to work in the bottle, easy to have at night and just plenty of calories delicious, really easy to eat, digests really well, feels great. So uh, basically mono meals of fruit are my main staple. So that's actually kind of difficult because it's whatever's in season. So I buy in bulk a lot. Um, for this summer it's been like melons, so I just like will chop up a bunch of melons and I love that. But I also eat greens by the bin, so 
I just love fruits and vegetables. I don't really know. I mean, smoothies are great, you know, but it's whatever's in season that I am feeling like the most. Heaven. <laughs>